and here comes the rain. Oh, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Here comes the rain already. Fuck it out, I just got here and the rain's coming. So what brings us here today is we're in the position of one month on in the search. Oh, can you all hear me all right? I think that might be a little bit too loud for people. Hello everyone. Is that better? That's dumbed it down a little bit. So, let me go back on the chat and see if I get a 5x5. Five five. Give us a 5x5 five five if you all can hear me. So we're here, some one month on, in the search for missing Jack O'Sullivan, who's been missing from three, around 3.15am on the 2nd of March. As you can see by the map on the thumbnail to this live, is that we're going to now walk the route, the last known route of Jack, and the positions of where the CCTV cameras picked him up on the night of March the 2nd. So we're now on Hotwells Road of Bristol. He came along this road early hours of the 2nd of March, and he was heading towards Brunel Bridge. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of waterways which we will... Sasha... Yeah, there's a lot. We're right by a tidal movement of the Severn into the Avon. So he came around here. <coughs> Excuse me. He went missing after a house party and this is the area that he was last seen in. And start getting wet now. <laughs> Great. Be all right in a minute. We're coming up to one of the positions now, is where Jack was picked up on CCTV.
Sorry about the wind noise guys if you're getting any. Jack has picked up crossing here by CCTV. Jack was picked up by that CCTV camera just there, crossing here, this bridge. So we are walking the last known route of Jack O'Sullivan who went missing after attending a house party on the 2nd of March. He was last seen at around 3.15am in the Hot Wells area of the city. Oh, I've got to get out of the way in a minute. Um, yeah, we can go stand up under there. He was also seen here by CCTV walking the same route as I'm walking now. <coughs> he was picked up by CCTV just here. It looks like from that pub just over there I think it was around 3.07 a.m. is that he was picked up here and he went down in this direction I think he's 23. He's, I think he celebrated his 23rd birthday um, just after he went missing. So his family had the double traumatic time of not only de dealing with his disappearance, they had to deal with that he was missing on his birthday also. <laughs> I don't know if Jack actually went up onto the road or he stayed on the lower path, but this is the route that he may have taken here, but I'll take you to the area that is the last known sighting. <laughs> Thank you. It's 
he may have went down those steps because his last known sighting was over here. I don't know if you can actually get down under, the, under there or not. I don't, yeah, oh, on the path. Here we go. Could have, you know what I mean? Tidal stretch of water, very, very, you know. Here, I believe I think the parents did an interview here the other day. So, I believe here is the last known sighting of Jack. So I think he may have walked all the way down around here and that way. So yeah, it looks like I, I came the wrong direction. I should have carried on and up and under the bridges. <coughs> so it looks like he walked in the opposite direction I'm going along here and he was last sighted around here at around 3.15 a.m. Yeah, yeah, he came straight across. Instead of I went under and around, he came straight across and around here, and he was last seen in this area. Look at the fucking mud, isn't it? At around 3.15 on the second, early hours of the second of March. It's the old lock gates here. They're just thick with, with mud, mud flats. If you went in that, you wouldn't be getting out too easily, would you?
he'd just been to a house party so whether or not he was paralytic I don't, nobody knows that's purely speculation but I could take it somebody going to a house party and not having a drink is very slim You know what I mean? It's it's a mystery, an absolute mystery. I expect the police have done all the tidal charts for like around that time to see which direction the tide was flowing to whether or not there's no comment on whether or not he went into the water so this is purely speculation You know, this stretch of water is one of the highest tidal ranges in the world. You can see how much the, the water comes up. Very, very treacherous piece of water. This is the last known location of Jack or the last known sighting. If you look on the actual thumbnail to this to this live, you will see CCTV images of him around this area on that night. So what we do is we walk the route in the opposite direction now. So we're walking the opposite direction. Like I said, he was last seen around this area at 3.15 a.m. on the 2nd of March after attending a house party.
he has, by all accounts, completely disappeared because that obviously, as a missing person, the first thing they do is, is if they, <coughs> if they have a digital footprint as well. And if he's completely missing, missing, that means he's got no footprint whatsoever. Even this, you know, bank's digital footprint is not there. So we're now walking the route back in the opposite direction to what they believe he took. Or his last known route. Could have Sasha, could have. You have to remember also at night, this is a very dark and desolate place. The only noise and the only people it would be around is the traffic. No one would really walk this area at night unless you're using it as a cut through to say Ashton somewhere um, that you wouldn't walk this way normally. Um, so yes, uh, unless he lived in Ashton or over that, towards that way, I don't know why anyone would walk down here at night. This is quite a, anyone from Bristol would know this is quite a, a desolate place at night, only the road traffic and that's it. Right. <coughs> Thank you for that little bit there, uh, Phil. So it would be ebbing, so it would be on the way out, so it would be quite strong. So you mean like somewhere see I don't know if he actually walked down there or walked along the towpath here this is you know by the maps not quite it's showing that he walked along the road but you don't know anyone's mind if they've had a little bit to drink you don't know you know what i mean it's we can only speculate so to me he either walked down here and crossed that bridge but this is like, like you're right you're right the only place he could hit the water without hitting mud is going off of the lock gates or going over the, the cut bridge.
so it definitely couldn't have gone in there if you went in there it'd still be there somewhere because it doesn't flow out Yeah, the only place this hasn't got the mud is further around. But yeah, I know what you mean, Phil. It'd be further, further around. But definitely a place not to be around at night when you're drunk really oh phil you live in peel fuck me that's that's ancient ancient peel peel's beautiful Yeah, so he knows, Phil knows the tidal movement and how, well, if you went in there, you ain't getting out, aren't you, Phil? That's the truth. Dangerous, dangerous stretch of water. So obviously now we just walk down there, we're now back up here. That's why it'd, be, it'd go backwards and forwards, wouldn't he, Phil? He, I don't think he'd make it out to sea, but he, he's, he's gone that way up river if he's gone in, and he would be up by sea mills if, they, if he hasn't got snagged up on a, on, a brand, on a tree stump or something like that whilst in the water. But then again, he wouldn't get cut up because his body would, his body would become... Um, not submerged anymore because the water would drop so his body would would be on on the bank so it's 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 a strange one Phil I think it's a strange one and plus Phil you know there's a allegedly there's a fucking alligator in there isn't there allegedly <laughs> I think the police would have done the hospital as he's been missing over a month now. I, I've never known anyone to go in that, in that river and survive, personally. I don't know if Phil can name anyone who survived. Oh, like he said, he could have been round in the cut. He could have gone up the fucking cut. He could have went up the fucking river, right? On the ebb. And then came back down river and around the fucking cut on the second flood. So he could be down round in the cut for anybody knows. You know what I mean? I don't, you've just got to let, let, let mother nature, if she's got him, like with any person that goes in the river you gotta wait until the river gives them up because they will eventually give them up but he could be anywhere if he's gone in got but then again we got road networks haven't we you you're saying he ain't got into a car somewhere and gone
But Phil, do you find it strange though that they haven't even looked in the river? They haven't even checked the fucking river. They the police haven't even said they've checked the river. So to me, that's if you've gone missing near water, the first thing you're going to fucking check is the water. Surely. All right, police divers ain't going to see much in there at all. It will be a by feel. But... <laughs> Gloucester, yeah, yeah, I heard that, Bill. Really? You look at Peel, Peel's the oldest, isn't it? Me real medieval Peel. <laughs> We've got to remember, that's a mud bottom. There's not a lot of real debris because it gets really shallow and practically drains all the way up. Um, it's not... If any dead bodies were there, you would see them on the side of the banks when the, when the tide drops. I can't, mate, I ain't, push, I ain't chucking me magnet in there, I'll fucking lose it. It gets stuck. I go along the Avon and down by the feeder. You're, you're, you're right, Peel. You're right, Phil. Bristol wouldn't be what it was today if it wasn't for his maritime history at Peel. It did have a fishing community, Peel did, didn't it? Many, many, many back in medieval times. So as you can see, this is obviously, the cut was put in to obviously take, take the water out from the city to let the river run all the way around. So the cut, like Phil said, if he, if he went in the water on the ebb, so on the way out, he would be washed, washed up river. No, down river, sorry. Um, back out towards the sea. And then obviously on the flood, on the incoming tide, he would have been washed back down and he probably would have went down round the cut. So Phil's right in what he's saying is he might not, he might not have, you know, he could be, what, within a mile, within a mile either, either direction, Phil, I'd say half a mile, if he went in. But sad, sad that a boy so young that has gone, gone missing and hasn't been heard of since, since the 2nd of March. Been missing for his birthday as well. Family, uh, it's a living, living nightmare. Say, why is that, Harry? What, why don't I know what I'm talking about, Harry?
I'm just waiting for Harry to tell me who, who hasn't got an education and who, who don't know what they're talking about. I've never seen him before anyway, so he can uh, fuck off. Bye. We were just walking back. He was also picked up, like I said, here by the CCTV camera over there. Oh, now I'm going to get fucking run over, isn't it? Shit. 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 No! Well, going to get run over me. God, I am now, aren't I? Oh, get my way! Well, I'm only down here now is because he's been missing for a month. A whole month without a trace. It's, it's got to be summer up, isn't there? There's no one even, like I said. Police wouldn't be so concerned if he had a digital trace, would they? But he hasn't even got that, I don't think. So to me, he's disappeared 100% nothing not even a digital trace so who knows What, the merchant by the city ground? Is that the one you mean? We'll get a scooter. Shouldn't have crossed really. If I, I can, I've got to find me little thing for me camera so I can still have you going on the way home because at the moment I've got to finish in a minute because uh, I'll get me scooter but this was just a little walk through hoping that somebody might see oh in front oh the merchant there oh right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I used to go to uh, there used to be one over the other side, up a little thing, what was it used to be called? Fuck me, I can't remember what it's called now. I have been mean, there in years. But anyway guys, like I just say... Um, that obviously I just came here because, uh... Yeah. That's it, bunch of grapes. But anyway guys, I'm gonna gonna switch off. This was just a little live.
just to open it may jog some people's memories of to where Jack is. It's been missing in Bristol now for over a month, well, for a month now. But thanks guys. I'll see you more later.